Erwin the Bendy suffered from an undiagnosed pain for more than a decade. In fact, some people didn't even believe her, thinking her symptoms were normal for women as they got older. They were completely mistaken. Steve Irwin, a well-known crocodile hunter, is the father of Bindi Irwin. Molly and Terry, her brother Robert, Bendy and Molly have carried on his passion for wildlife ever since he passed away in 2006. They have stumpy little tiles and very short legs, but they are still very. I think you could have said that better. As though they have these adorable little legs. It's Addison Hacker, hey. On the surface, Bendy exudes happiness, however, behind closed doors, she now discloses that she suffers from endometriosis, a condition for which she had previously assumed she would have to endure the pain for the rest of her life. Bendy wrote that it was time in an Instagram letter to her followers. It's time to share her struggles with the world. She wrote, I'm sharing my story for anyone who reads this and is quietly dealing with pain and no answers, let this be your validation that your pain is real and you deserve help, accompanied by a photo of her in the hospital bed. Keep looking for solutions. For the previous 10 years, Bendy had been suffering from excruciating pain, exhaustion, and nausea. The United States claims demetriosis is a condition that occurs when tissue that is similar to the lining of the uterus grows in other places and forms lesions. Department of Health and Human Services Office on Women's Health Doctors ignored her pain and didn't take her seriously for years. That was defeating on its own. Quote, I gave up trying to function through the pain after a doctor told me it was just something women deal with. Fortunately, a friend heard that you continue to fight to be free of pain and didn't give her a no. The young woman would need surgery to get the answers she so desperately wanted. During surgery, they would discover a chocolate cyst and 37 lesions, some of which were deep and difficult to remove. Bindi felt more than just a physical release from this. Emotionally, it was also a relief. Quote validation after years of suffering is incomprehensible. I am grateful to my loved ones and friends who have been with me on this journey for more than 10 years, for encouraging me to find answers when I thought I would never get out. I am grateful to the nurses and doctors who understood my agony. I'm headed for recuperation and the appreciation I feel is overpowering. If you're pleased, press the up arrow. Not only is Bendy doing well, but she also got the physical and emotional help she needed. Bendy and her husband Chandler had a daughter named Grace together. In her post, Bendy discussed how she encourages women in her situation to be sensitive to themselves and other women. When viewed from someone else's perspective, things may appear to be in order from the outside. That isn't always the case though. Before asking me or any other woman when we'll have more children, please be gentle and pause. I am extremely thankful to have our beautiful daughter, given everything my body has endured. She feels like her family's marvel. You may remember a friend who encouraged Bendy to keep looking for answers. Doug the Pug, a Nashville-based internet sensation with over 3.5 million Instagram followers, is owned by Leslie Moser. Leslie has been candid about her experience with endometriosis and the surgery she had to fix some of the issues. The ideal person to provide Bendy with guidance and support. Leave a comment below before you leave. Best wishes for Bendy's rehabilitation. From the TV Recap family, let's show her how much we care. I'm adding Hager for the country taste. I appreciate your viewing. As always,